the American dream is based on rampant consumerism. It, it, it is based upon the fact that mainstream media and especially commercial advertising, uh, all corporations who need this infinite growth have convinced us or brainwashed uh, most people in America and hence the world that uh, we have to have X number of material possessions and the possibility of gaining in infinitely more material possessions in order to be happy. That's just not true. So how, why do people continue to, to buy in this way, which is ultimately eco-genocidal in its systemic effects, cumulatively? And it just is classical operant conditioning. You simply put inputs of conditioning into the organism, and you have outputs of uh, desired behaviors or goals or objectives. And it has all the resources of technology and they boast about how they get into the minds of infants. What they hear uh, is already making them conditioned to the brand. Then you see, well, that's how uh, people have been such fools, in a way they've been taught to be fools. It's a value system a disorder. You know, if there is any testament to the plasticity of the human mind, if there is any proof to how malleable human thought is and how easily conditioned and guided people can become based on the nature of their environmental stimulus and what it reinforces, the world of commercial advertising is the proof. You have to stand in awe at the level of brainwashing where these programmed robots known as consumers wander the landscape only to walk into a store and spend, say, four thousand dollars on a handbag that likely cost ten dollars to make in a sweatshop overseas only for the brand status it supposedly represents in the culture or perhaps the ancient communal traditions which increase trust and cohesiveness in society which have now been hijacked by acquisitive materialistic values where now annually we exchange useless crap a few times a year and we might wonder why so many today have a compulsion to shopping and acquisition when it is clear that they have been conditioned from childhood to expect material goods as a sign of their status with friends and family. The fact is, the foundation of any society are the values that support its operation. And our society, as it exists, can only operate if our values support the conspicuous consumption it requires to continue the market system. 75 years ago, consumption in America and much of the first world was half of what we see today per person. Today's new consumer culture has been manufactured and imposed due to the very real need for higher and higher levels of consumption. And this is why most corporations now spend more money on advertising than the actual process of product creation itself. They work diligently to create a false need for you to fill and it happens to work.